Welcome back, everybody. Mark from Rams up here. Up late on a Saturday night, celebrating the Rams winning preseason. They go two and one after losing to the Texans. First time they've had a winning season since 2011. Is that what I heard? Man, that's pretty amazing. But it sounds about right. We have had some dreadful preseasons, at least in the win-loss column. Kind of makes sense. And it also makes sense given the way that Sean McVay and Les Snead approach the preseason. But there are a few guys that stood out. And let's see, we'll start with Zach Evans, 14 rushes for 45 yards. And, you know, um, maybe not a spectacular game by Zach Evans, maybe not enough to earn a spot on this roster, beat out Boston Scott. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. He's going to end up on the practice squad. But two touchdowns found the end zone in the red zone. Red zone runs, tough running. So you got to give it up for Zach Evans. Very happy for him. Ulukanli Batukasi, and I, I think I said that right. Bear with me. That's a tough one. Batukasi, as we like to call him, he had a really nice game all over the field. Had that big stop on fourth down, helped out by Corey Durden. And he is not going to make this roster. We already know who our four inside linebackers are, but he will be on this practice squad as will his counterpart over there, Elias Neal, two backup linebackers that have played really well. They will both be on the practice squad, but Fadakasi especially all over the place, very impactful player. He showed on the film for sure. Be interesting to see what his pro football focus grades are. Be interesting to see what they are for all these guys. See if we're getting it right here. And another guy I wanted to call out was Cam Lampkin. As the announcers correctly pointed out on the muffed punt, did the right thing, hit the returner, allowed Elias Neal to make the recovery. And he was, uh, you know, showing up on film as well. Had a couple good uh, uh, pieces of coverage there. Um, I think he had a really strong game. Again, I want to see his pro football focus grades to see if my eyes aren't deceiving me. But Cam Lampkin, another guy that's probably going to end up on the practice squad. Now, the final guy I want to mention is a guy that, man, we were all surprised to see him out there so much. Xavier Smith, four catches for 34 yards, three rushes for 16 yards, had a return for 23 yards. Seems like the best returner we've had in quite a while. And uh, so he had 73 total yards from scrimmage and the return combined. I don't know what else he has to do to make this team. He would be the seventh wide receiver, apparently. Tyler Johnson did not play. We know Jordan Whittington and Tutu Atwell are on this roster. So Xavier Smith liked what we saw. And uh, he probably is the number one game ball recipient for this one. Now, I talked to Paul Wallia, texted back and forth. He wanted me to mention a few other guys. Elias Neal, I left him out because he did miss a couple of open field tackles, I thought. Overall, a very good game, though. Led the team with seven total tackles. Actually, Fadakasi had eight. Neal followed him with seven. That's combined uh, solo and uh, assisted tackles. And Paul really liked what he saw from backup center Mike McAllister and Alec Lindstrom, according to Paul, just gives 1,000% every play. So a guy that the Rams might want to keep around obviously fits their culture. And Nico Kalanick, the tight end, Paul wanted to give him a shout out. Looks like a, a, a guy that has the potential to play at the NFL level. Might not happen on this team. We got our three tight ends. We appear to have our three tight ends, and that's not counting Tyler Higby. So uh, maybe Kalanick will end up on the practice squad. But then again, there's Miller Forrestall. Uh, do we keep two tight ends on that 17-man uh, group? Hard to say. And I overlooked Corey Durden. Paul did not. He had a very good game, making a case for that sixth or seventh defensive lineman. Uh, I don't know where we're going with that group. You know, I think, uh, you know, obviously it's going to be Kobe Turner, Braden Fisk. Bobby Brown, Tyler Davis, those are the top four. And then we got a bunch of guys, Corey Durden, Laurel Murchison, who's banged up. Um, I don't know if uh, Carlos Watkins is going to make the cut here. So Durden could be the guy. Murchison may go on injured reserve. And uh, Durden made a case for himself potentially tonight.
today, I should say, against the Texans. So there's my game balls for this final preseason game. I think Xavier Smith really stood out the most and probably Fadu Kasi, uh, but a bunch of other guys kind of standing out a little bit at least. Any of these guys really have a case for the uh, 53-man roster? Well, I think it'd be Xavier Smith and uh, potentially Corey Dirt and the rest. Hopefully we can keep around for the practice squad. On to the regular season. We got a lot of good stuff coming up. The 53-man roster, the initial 53-man roster, we'll know by Tuesday night. We'll have a roundtable on that subject. Maybe I'll take one more hack at that come Monday morning. We'll, we'll see how things go tomorrow. Out here from Ramps Up.